Good morning, Pisces. What is popping? What's going on, Pisces? I know I'm late as hell, but better late than never, right? So, Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get donations and get private readings. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all those who um, go up to my web and order some things that I'm going to show you all these beautiful things I got. And don't forget to do your ritual because it's going to be the eclipse and the full moon. That full moon's going to be out there for a minute. So y'all need to do write y'all letters to God. Light them candles, that yin and the yang, the black and the white. And, you know, say whatever you got to say and bring it out there. If y'all live where well, y'all got your own yard, your own property, you know, and you can burn your candles out in the universe, that's even better. If you in the house, well, burn them in the house and take your salt bath. You know, rinse all that shit. And let me tell you something. The, what you got in your head is where you're going to be, okay? And if you got that good vibe in your head, then you're going to have it all good. Because this moon that's coming in, is, it's supposed to be very lovely. But if, you know, you don't get because the moon is loving and your energy is fucked up. If your energy is fucked up, the moon ain't going to give you what you want because your energy is fucked up. Take that energy and block all that craziness and get into some real shit, okay? So, and that's what I'm trying to say. Get into some real shit, okay, baby? All right, now, so, um, I'm going to get into this, and let's start this reading, because I'm pretty late on it, all right? So, let's start on it. Let's see what the main card is telling us. Let's see what the main card is telling us, okay? I need to get my mom's cards out. Well, this card, oh, my God, stop playing. You got yes on this card and yes on this card. So whatever it is, and I, you got two, you, you didn't get one yes, you got two yes. Confirm. I, I mean, it just was right there. Yes and yes, you know what I mean? Damn, that, thank you, thank you. When you get that vibe and you got that good vibe in you, you don't let nobody take that vibe from you. You will, you know, delete yourself, um, remove yourself, right? Block yourself. Ghost yourself, whatever it is you need to get out away from an energy that's not serving you so that you can get this collecting energy that's coming in with this full moon and that with that eclipse, okay? Come on now, Pisces. Get in that right, right frame of mind. Get with your right self, you know what I mean? Don't let nobody, don't feed into no negativity shit. Rinse that shit off of you. Take that cycle away from you. You got to learn. You can't fight everybody's battles. You can't fight people. All the time, you got to let people, let people be. And you can't change the situation, okay? If the situation's fucked up, don't try to change it. Just move along. Let it go, okay? So I don't know where you at, but I'm trying to be on a good vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to really, you know, be in a different level in my life. <coughs> I went to get some breakfast today, and I seen my mom's friend. You know, my mom passed away, but I seen her friend, and no lie, her friend was in the store where I was in getting this breakfast. And honey, if she didn't open up her mouth and sound like my damn mother and shit my mom be saying, I'm like, what? So I went there and bought her breakfast. But how about this damn woman? She worked the whole damn store. So the whole store was buying her shit. And you know that she, she's a... I'm like, damn. Well, my mother wasn't like that because my mom was a sore. Honey. My mom, uh -uh, she was to the point. But her girlfriend, a firebomb, honey, fire. She had everybody in there. Everybody in there, you know, checking them out and shit. I was cracking up. She cracks me up. All right, Pisces, let's get this reader popping. Here we go. All right, Spirits, tell me what I need to know. The first card you got, the musician, okay? The musician you got there, right? So the first card you got is Mercury, okay? Tell me more. Oops, wait a minute. Tell me, tell me more, Spirits. Give me one card. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, of Virgo. Tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. You got the Three of Cups. All right? So, what I do see, and since I'm pretty late, I'm going to go ahead and do this reading, okay, so it can go through fast. But the first card you got is Mercury, right? The musician. All the tools. 
the higher and the lower. And that's why you always see them go like this, up and down, okay? Um, check it out. The musician. The musician here got an open book, a feather on it, got the tarot cards floating, got ink on the side. It don't show on this particular card that it has um, everything around it. But what I do see that it got, it got air on it. It got um, earth on it. Okay. I see that clear on here. Air and earth, right? Air and earth is showing big on this. Air and earth, okay? Now, and it got infinity in there. So, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it's clear as day on this card that it got right here, two symbols right there on the side. And if you know anything about the symbols, you know what it means, all right? And it got infinity. So I don't know what it means, but if you got one of them signs or you dealing with somebody with them signs, it's the eight infinity, okay? It's something open here. Um, it's something that you either writing a book or writing a letter or receiving a letter or um, somebody is watching um, tarots because it got a tarot here on the side right here. Okay, it got an open book. It got ink over here. It got a feather right there. It got um, red, white, and blue, the um, rainbow, you know what I mean, for um, prosperity, wishes, hope, um, that whatever it is that you want is there. Um, it's positive, okay? It's telling you roses. It's picking the roses for you, and the roses, the roses are Literally, the rainbow. You see that? The roses are full of rainbow colors. All right? Um, you got the wand, magic wands up in the air with all these um, stars are coming out of it. So then you know for sure that you, it's got to be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then you got the um, rainbow is lit like the sun. And you got the yes card. And the yes card is, means the sun, right? The sun will shine. The rainbow is there telling you that no matter what, the sun will shine. Um, whatever you want, you're going to get it. The sun will shine. After the clouds, the sun will shine. I don't see no clouds here. But I'm telling you, it's a very positive card right now. Magic is alive in your life, okay? What you need to be a successful will manifest. Whatever you need to be successful will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. It's whatever it is that you want it, that you believe you can do. Whatever it is that you got going on right now, it's saying you got it. And this is talking about your career, where you're at. And maybe you feel like shit ain't kicking off, or maybe you feel like shit is moving slow for you, okay? It's telling you, whatever it is, if you believe, if you believe that you can achieve it, if you believe it's for you, if you claiming it, if you continue to do it, if you're not, if never stop doing it. And let me tell you something, and I'm going to say this to y'all as an example, right? Now, you know, uh, Google and YouTube, you got an account, you know, they pay you after get a certain amount. Well, you never know how these people operate because you never know how they work. You don't even know what, how you get paid because it's so much bullshit with them. And you could be sitting on top of the world. The next thing you know, how the fuck do you go this high and go this low? It don't make any sense. But whatever they do, I don't give a fuck. You can, you can do the same shit you do every fucking day. Right? And still see a change in what they do. All right? But you don't understand it. So don't try to understand shit. You just need to continue to do what you want to do. No matter what. And know that at the end of the rainbow is the pot of gold. And that's what it's telling you. At the end of the rainbow, you got that pot of gold. Because why? Because you never gave up and you believed in you. When no one else believed in you, you believed in you. The universe believed in you. Because as long as you don't give up, 
the universe won't give up on you. Do you understand? You got to want it. All right? Then you got the ace of pinnacle, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Right? So now, check it out. You look like you got this um, goal, goal, goal path leading into this mask, mask of a house, okay? A college, okay? Um, um, I would say a castle, something huge, right? A big fucking house. I don't know, but it looked big. It looks like every flowers. Um, the garden is well kept. I see palm trees. I don't know if somebody lives or have these palm trees around them, but it, it, it but you looking like, yeah, I got it. You got this rabbit that shows, you know, you getting that lucky break, like shit is getting ready to pop off. You got that book, right? You wearing purple. You got white on. You just look beautiful. So it's like the beginning. It's like whatever you're doing, it's in the beginning stage, right? After you've been working on it, you're going to start seeing it. It says, a windfall of abundance, a wise counseling, right? Or a good fortune, okay? So things are going to make sense to you. Or you're going to be either playing the picket, and I got these soaps that got good luck and all that stuff for your whatever you want. If you gamble, whatever it is, right? Play the pickets. Uh, it's a good fortune coming, right? It says, an exciting career opportunity. Some of y'all got new jobs. Some of y'all going into new careers. Some of y'all opening up your own business. Some of y'all doing um, books, writing books. Some of y'all it's open up a YouTube, um, open up a podcast, um, something here that you want to do. Okay. Um, classes, whatever it is, a luxury. Um, oh, also. Other people giving you information to do what you're going to do or to help you to get to where you're going or good advice. Whatever it is you need, you're looking for it, you're going to get it, right? Um, a signified purchase of like a house or vehicle. Some of y'all buying new houses. Some of y'all buying a vehicle. Whatever it is you purchase, it's that time because anything you want, you can have. If you believe it, you can have it. So if you keep claiming something, you say, I want this, I want this, I want this, and you go for it because a lot of time you don't go for it because you don't know what you're going to get. But if you jump on it and you take that leap of faith and get what you want, you'll get it, all right, because you're not questioning yourself. And that's the thing. When you start believing in yourself rather than questioning yourself, you get what you want, okay? Now, news worth celebrating, and I keep telling you it got the musician, then it got the ace of pentacles already telling you you're on fire. And now you got the three uh, cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. News worth celebrating is something that you're waiting, uh, whether it's um, waiting on um, something to um, free you, whatever it is, you get me, okay? Um, news worth celebrating, joyful announcement like an engagement, wedding, pregnancy, graduation, a time for gratitude, close, um, close um, community or a close family. So you are giving all of this news that you're about to receive. You're sharing it with people that you love. And let me tell you, just because you got a family don't mean that you're close to your family. You're sharing it with people you make create to be your family okay like y'all my family okay and i think i would tell y'all before i tell anybody else you know what i mean because that's just the way i feel with y'all but it's something here that is worth celebrating and because i see you got the musician and it says um a magic alive in your life whatever you need to be successful you can manifest it and if you believe you can do it. You can do it. And it got the yes card. Remember that? You got yes twice, right? So then after that, it tells you again, a windfall of abundance, a wise counseling, somebody you seeking counsel from, somebody telling you something you want to know, hear from, a good time for fortune, 
You may hit the picket. It's something in your life that's starting to work for you, right? Um, an exciting opportunity in career, whatever it is that you want, you're going to move towards it. You're going to get it, right? A luxury, um, contacting people that's going to give you this advice or giving you people to, to get you to where you need to be to start this shit off, right? It's like people that know people that can do whatever you want to be done, right? Um, contacting the right person to get the right job done, all right? Um, or something that's going to be purchased, whether it's a house or a car, signing papers for whatever it is that you're going to do. And the process of all of this going on in your life is news worth celebrating. So you got the job, you got the car, you got the house, you got the papers, you got the divorce, you got separated from somebody you didn't want to be with, you got the um the open up a store, start the podcast, start the YouTube, um um this new career that you got, whatever it is that you're waiting on, you got it. Even if it is just happen simple. Op uh, operation that you coming out good from, or you were sick and you getting good news that you no longer are sick. Whatever it is you are creating, you getting something that you wanted, right? And it says like an engagement, wedding, pregnancy, gra a graduation, or a time for gratitude, close community, or close family. So whoever you consider to be close in your life, this is what it's telling you, okay? It, you getting the abundance coming to you in every level. Okay, let's find out some more. Let's find out what it says. Um, and, and this is about your job or a wedding or something. It's going to kick off. All right. I feel like whatever it was that um, you, I feel like some of y'all been wanting to separate from a situation and I don't care what it is, whatever situation it is, you are going to depart from that that you no longer want. Okay? So whatever it is that you don't want, you depart from it. It's no longer going to be there because you're going to leave it where it's at. So whatever you ask God for, you're going to get it, right? Or say, get to know each other. It says, as you reveal your intimate self to each other, you bond deeply. So I feel like, yes. You're, something here is going to be left back that you do not want because it was supposed to be like that because you were supposed to leave somebody or they were supposed to leave somebody to come back the right way or whoever you're meeting whatever it is this person makes a decision to leave whatever they didn't want because it's, I don't know okay oh my god listen to this y'all now don't go all crazy on me it might whatever fits you fits you Whatever part of reading is for you, is for you. And whatever part ain't for you, let it be. Okay? The whole reading ain't about the two last, three last cards. The, the whole reading is about an abundance that's coming to your life. And the end of the three of cups is saying, celebrating uh, um, an announcement of a, a, a wedding, engagement, pregnancy, gratitude, graduation, a time for being thankful for your gratitude, sharing it with people that you love. So, uh, okay, now take that anyway, because that's the main reading, okay? And that was the ending of the three cards. Now, the bottom of the card, I, I threw down, you know, the romance step, because, yeah, we always want to know, right? And I know that because it's a Pisces thing, right? So, you're, you're, something here is going to be done. When I mean done, is done, right? Then you had to make this decision as you get closer to somebody. It's a decision that need, need to be made because... You can't be with this person and you want to be with this person. If this, whatever it is, whether it's you or somebody else that you not even speaking to or whatever it is, I don't know what the hell it is. But, and you, some of y'all really know what I'm talking about. And then some of y'all not even in this situation. So if you ain't in this situation, it ain't for you. The bottom three cards. Okay, I'm not talking about the other cards. This bottom. But if it is for you, it was nothing enough there to keep whatever it was going, right? And so, you made a decision or they made a decision that because it's nothing left there what it was with them or whatever it was, they saying, look, Pisces, you may not know, but I've been working, trying to let this shit go before I can fully commit to you, all right? And you may not know this, okay? 
Maybe y'all not even speaking to this person. Maybe y'all haven't seen this person. All right? But this is in the making, right? You understand? Or you yourself can be in a situation where you with somebody, right, that you trying to dismiss to move on to where you really need to be in your life, okay? Because it's got to be that way, all right? And see, let me tell you something. When you think it ain't that way, that's when God pulls the rug out of you and you fall because it's that tower moment that says you need to do it. Now, when you're going to do it or when it's going to happen is up to God. But it's telling you right now, it's, it's about to happen. And it's the right now, right? And then it says the last part. That's why I have to explain this to you. Because it says reconsideration. Listen. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And I'm going to say this again. Please listen. All right? I'm going to say it again. I'm sure. I'm sure. Right? Just because you've been with somebody, all right, in a relationship, it don't have to be that you was with somebody in your relationship. You may have known this person and have a relationship with them. And they always had a crush on you or whatever. All right? Because the first thing y'all think about, oh, hell to the no. It ain't me because I don't want... This can be in any situation, honey. Abundance ain't just abundance with money. It's abundance in your health. It's abundance how you live, that you got everything. It don't always have to be abundance and in, in, in wealth. Abundance come because I opened up my eyes. Because I got a can of soda. Okay? Because I'm capable of doing this reading. Because I can use my mouth. Because my hands work. Because I'm alive. Abundance can... Honey, y'all better start knowing what abundance and reconsiderate. It can be in all kinds of forms. Sometimes it can be that y'all not talking to your family. And your family's coming back to speaking to y'all. It can be at different levels. Please stop. Use your mind. Expand your mind. All right? You got to expand it on whatever level you need to be on it. All right? Because if it was me, I would be thinking about, yes, yeah, somebody from my past that I get down with, you know, but I need to remove trash that I got with me to get my baby coming back. Right? And some of y'all saying, no, I don't want that. So it may be from your family. It may be a friend. Whatever it is, it is. But baby, this shit right here shows more than just a friend or a family. It shows a daddy. Okay? All right, Pisces. And the answer, you, you didn't get one yes. You got two yes. So you already know the divine... Now listen to this. Check this shit out because I ain't look at this good. You got the yes from God. Do you understand? Look at that. Okay. And then check this shit out. In this card, you got the yes what? Balance in your life. Somebody coming to a balance. Somebody that wants to balance shit with you. All right? The gold and the silver, baby. Do you understand? And that's what it's about. It's like you trying to... It's like your, your world is going to balance between you and somebody else, okay? So you need to know that. But if you need a private reading from me, get it from me or someone else. It's funny how it says, the musician, right? Anything you want, you can have. And then it said, the um, ace of pinnacles, a uh, uh, windfall of abundance, a wide counseling, a good future, expanding in your career, um... You know, getting the right clients or the right person to get you where you want. A satisfied purchase of a house or vehicle, right? And then it said on this. So this right here, this reading is about abundance in both in your career and in your life. You're balancing shit. And that's that's like the best reading. Because now it shows that you are removing, deleting what is not for you. Whether it's a job, people, whatever. Coming into balance in your world. And putting everything in perspective where it's supposed to be. And that's what it's saying. Balance it, baby. And you can have it. But you got to know how to balance it. You got to know how to maintain you. Your structure. Who you are. Stand firm. You know, sometimes we, we fight other people's battle that we don't even have business fighting. Whether it's our children, our sisters, our brothers, our friends. 
you know, just chill, relax, take it easy. You know what I mean? Let that shit go. You know, if it don't apply, don't don't make it fit. You can't go to the store and buy a, a size six and you wear a size seven. You can't do that. You're going to be uncomfortable if that's how you want to be. You got to understand. Life is what you make. It. It's your choice. It's your choice how you handle and how you allow people to come into your space and how they work in your space. Because if they can't work in my space, then I can't deal with it. Because I can't be somebody that I'm not. And I can't make everybody happy. But I got to learn to make me happy. And that's what means the world to me. My happiness. Okay? So wherever you are in your life, it, you can have it all. But you got to learn. It's where you see yourself. And how you conduct yourself and how you can handle situations and people. That's what matters. That's when you come complete and you can balance shit because you see things in a different way and that's what matters. So Pisces, if you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else, okay? If you need to know who this person from the past or who this person coming in, Get a private reading. If you don't want to know, then keep on looking at what you want to look. But the main thing is, take what applies and let the rest go. Do not apply shit that don't fit you and then be all acting right. Me talking about, well, Miss Lisa, I don't want him. I ain't say you did. I said, take what's for you and let the shit, other shit go. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.